Okay, so what we're trying to locate here is the surface area of this shape. What shape would that be called? Uh, Rectangular based prism. Yeah, could be. Uh, triangular based, right angle triangular based prism. We could, do, we could say that too. So remember that a prism has both the same faces at either end. Okay? Uh, Garrett, where would you start with working out the surface area of this? Getting the other side of the triangle. Oh, so straight away you'd go in and try and find this length. And why are you trying to find that length? So you can do the surface area of the 10 by the mystery number. Good. Well spoken. Yeah, 10 by the mystery number. So you're trying to find, uh, you will work and try and find the area of this to start with. And so obviously we need that. And so what do we use there, Hulksty? Yeah, and you're going to do this for us, please. So we have a shape, and draw the shape if you like, whatever suits you. Pythagoras' theorem, it looks like this. And that's what we don't know. That's it. That's going to be our X or our unknown. Okay? So can you just shut your screens, please, just to avoid the, the uh, distractions, I suppose. So, Holsty, what's the first line that I would write here? Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Well done. Okay. Good persistence with your learning. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. What's our C squared? Uh, mystery yep. Mystery number. Don't know it. Uh, what's our A? Um, eight. Could be eight. Absolutely. What's our? What could our B be? Yes. And so what you're left with is 64 plus uh, 225, I reckon, is it? 15 times 15? Yeah. 225. I'm going through this relatively uh, swiftly because you really should be able to uh, know this. 64 plus 225. 289. Uh, 289. So... What I'm doing now is I'm saying the square root of 289 because I dropped off that square, yeah? To drop that off, we could square root that and then we have to do it to the other side. We all okay with that? Comfortable with that? We've done enough of these, yeah? Square root of 289, Taylor, please. Okay, so we'll need to check that out because that's pretty important. Beth, what'd you get? 17. 17? Thank you. 17 centimetres, that means that the hypotenuse or the longest side of that uh, triangle is 17. I think it should be metres. Metres, of course it should. Thank you. Where's my thing? Um, 17 centimetres, thank you. It's not 17 centimetres, it's 17 metres. Okay, so only now are we ready and are we capable of calculating the area of this shape, surface area of this shape, sorry. All right? So, Garrett, we'll roll with you. Um, where do we go from for here? Would you do the triangle first? Uh, it's whatever you want, whatever you feel comfortable. There's no set rules on what you do first or second. So whatever you want to do first. Because when I did this question, I did the top of it first. You did this rectangle? Yep. Yeah, that's all right. Let's go there. Shall we? Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, it'll be area equals length <laughs> times width. Length times width. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And it would be six, no, 17 by 10. 17 by 10. Good. And that would be 170. 170. Metres squared. Metres squared. Now, a lot of you, too many of you in the test failed to put this in. Too many of you, uh, and you lost marks. All right, I had told you that well and truly beforehand. You need to put in the measurement. So this here is done. Yeah, it's 170 meters squared. That's the surface area of that part. Uh, what's the next thing that we could do there, Beth? Figure out the triangle. The triangle, and what's the formula for the area of a triangle, please, Holsty? 
Got the half right. Days times five. Excellent. I'm going to keep nailing you on that till you get that right. Okay. There, there's stuff you remember. I just had a conversation with Jake around the fact that don't think, oh, area's finished, so I don't need to learn those formulas that maybe I didn't quite learn for the test. You need to learn them because you can see that they relate so strongly to this. Half base times height. Beth, what is our half? What's our base? What could our base be? 15. Could be 15. Half at 15 and times it by? Eight, good. What does that give me? Gives me about 7.5 times eight, which gives me about 60. What's that give us? Half times 15 times eight. 60, yep. 60 metres squared. So we've got this. What could I do now, Taylor? What could I do? Uh, the one back here, that one back there, I could do that. I mightn't leave the triangle just yet. Jack? Yeah, why would you times it by two? Because there's a triangle here, but there's also a triangle through here. I'm hopeful that you can see that. Oops, so oh. That's why we need to think about what the shape looks like. And that's why we uh, did those nets. You know how we did those nets, Jake? Yes. Uh, my pen runs out every now and again. So there's another triangle in through there. Are you laughing at my pen skills, Jake? Uh, yeah. No, not your skills, just your pen runs out. <laughs> So we've got another triangle there. I'm hopeful that you can see that. Um, so uh, as Jack said, we would multiply it by 2, and that would mean we've got 120 metres squared with that triangle there and this triangle here. Then to Taylor. Taylor is thinking about doing this back rectangle. What, the, what are the measurements, Taylor, of that back rectangle? Length times width. And what are what are the measurements of that? Ten times eight. Ten times eight. You said with such a, a, a unconvincing attitude, but you were so right. Yes, the eight is there, and that measurement must be the same as that measurement. So eight by ten, which is eighty square meters. What's left to do, Woody? You've got the bottom, okay, and the bottom, uh, Nikita, would be? Length times width, yes. Excellent, it's 15 multiplied by 10. 15 by 10. It is a lot of work, that's right. It gives you what, Nikita? 150 metres squared. What's the last thing we have to do, Harry? Plus them all together. Plus them all together. How do I say we call that? What, how do I say we sort of write that? Um, I use the phrase TSA. Why is that? Total surface area. Excellent. Total surface area. The total surface area of this shape will be... And what you may find is underlining your answers helps you when you go back and so you don't pick up another number from somewhere. And so you're just adding 150 to 80 to 120 to 170. Jess, can you do that please? 170 plus 120 plus 80 plus... 150. 520. 520? Thank you. The total surface area of that shape is 520 metres squared. How did I do it? How do I eat an elephant? Bit by bit. Bit by bit. 
okay? As Jake said, there's so much here. There's so much calculations to do. All right? How does that relate to an elephant? How on earth are you going to eat all of an elephant? You've got to do it bit by bit. All right? It's a big deal to do. It's a lot to do. You don't try and do it all at once, okay? You just take a little section at a time, and that's what we've done here. We've taken uh, the first... Well, first of all, we did this calculation which gave us our unknown using Pythagoras' theorem, and then from there... We did it bit by bit. First the rectangle face, then the triangle, followed by the other triangle, then the back, and finally the bottom, and then we finally added them all together. Okay? So please be methodical with this. Uh, a common problem in the test, green group, if, you have, if I can have your eyes this way, Gareth. A common problem with the green group in the test was if you didn't have a triangle set up in that shape, too many of you struggled to understand what the base and the height was. Yeah, do you remember doing that? Uh, an example would be this shape here. Uh, if I can get that across. An example would be this shape here, where too many of you um, didn't feel comfortable in rotating the shape. What you need to think about when you get a shape where it doesn't have the right angle on the bottom is that you've got to rotate that around so that it looks like this. So you've always got the right angle sort of on the ground. Does that make sense to you? Is that, is that explained well enough? And, and the moment you do that, this side length, if you flick that around, if you flick that around to there, that becomes your three centimetres and that becomes your height which is four centimetres. It therefore doesn't matter what this is, it doesn't matter unless you've got, you know, a shape like that. But you've got your base and you've got your height, remember this is your base and this is the height. So when you're doing a, a, a triangle holsty, it's half base times height, okay, that's your base and that's your height. But in the test too many of you really got confused once a triangle wasn't in this circumstance once a triangle wasn't very basic and set up like that too many of you really struggled to be able to flip them oops sorry still getting used to it uh, you, you struggled to do the flip so that you could find where the base and the height was Alright, so I think that might give you a bit of clarity as to how to do these ones a little bit more. Always rotate it so that the right angle is on the ground and then just transfer whatever the side lengths are according to what you see there. Alright?